I think the the kind of coolest and simplest piece of maths that I've ever come across is probably the Monty Hall problem. It's so counterintuitive when you first hear about it, it doesn't feel obvious. But when you start looking at the formula and the mathematics behind it, it makes such simple sense that it's crazy. We should probably explain it though. So to introduce this, this is from a game show uh, where essentially there's three doors and you don't know what's behind them. But you're trying to win a car, so one of them has a car behind and two of them have these goats or goat lookalike creatures anyway. And essentially, you pick a door. Let's say we pick door number one, right? To start with, there's a third chance that there's a car behind the door that you pick. So we've picked door number one. Now let's say that the host, Mr. Monty, uh, opens door number three for you. He now says, do you want to stick with your choice of door number one, or do you want to switch and choose door number two? And most people tend to get this wrong. In fact, in some studies, it was as low as like 13% of people made the right choice here. I think intuitively, once one door with the goat behind it is taken out of the question, people assume that there's a 50-50% chance that the car is behind the door that you've already chosen. And then I'm sure psychologically people have their lucky numbers or they're stubborn and they don't want to change given the choice. So the reason why it's not actually a 50-50 chance of the car being behind the door that you originally picked is because Monty Hall is always going to open a door that has a goat behind it, right? He's still got to give you the opportunity to win a car. So let's just think about this quite simply. If you picked door one, and Monty opened door three, you're gonna be better off if you switch. In the same way, if you picked door three, Monty would have to open door one, and again, you'd be better off if you switched. However, if you picked door two, it wouldn't matter which one Mr. Monty opened, and in this case, you'd actually be better off staying, but you're only better off staying with your choice in one out of the three examples that you've got here. So your probability of winning is always going to be higher if you switch. I've forgotten how to draw a goat like this. It has a horn. 